feels like things are back to normal around here with the unmistakable scent of hemp wafting from our next guest dressing room. He is a multi-platinum selling recording artist, mini mogul, and an actor too. You can hear him on Duncanville Monday nights on Fox. Please welcome Wiz Khalifa. I'm doing well. Have you? I, you've been out doing concerts already, right? I have. I did the first uh, concert at Dre's in Vegas last weekend. Excellent. At a pool party. What was it like in Vegas? Oh, uh, man, it's fully open, bro. Fully open? Yeah. They don't care, yeah. <laughs> don't. No masks, <laughs> no. I hope they're all vaccinated. <laughs> <laughs> Undoubtedly. People, safety is the top concern there when you're in Las Vegas. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> And so, well, that's fun. That's got to be, I'm sure that's uh, refreshing to be able to get out of the house and to do that. Yeah, it's refreshing. It's a little bit scary, too. Is it? Was it? Yeah. Yeah, just like the nerves, you know, you, you kind of, they programmed us to not want people to touch us. So yeah, right. People get too close. I'm like, ah. <laughs> I feel that way, too. It's weird. Even, like, when you shake somebody's hand every once in a while, uh, it's like, oh, should we be doing this? <laughs> yeah, it's weird, but it was fun. It's definitely good to, to have the live music aspect. Um, sure. I, I love performing. I love being in front of the fans and just going off You're very popular. How many followers do you have on Instagram? I think uh, 35 million. 35 million yeah. fans. Yeah, yeah. Let's look at your Instagram here. Yeah. I like this. this oh, 32.5. Like... That's what it is. All right, all right. Now you'll close. get to 35, but it I like this. There. Captain of the Taylor Gang, yeah. Rich Ass Stoner. Yep, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> What is the Taylor Gang? Uh, Taylor Gang is my group of friends. It's my label. It's my group of fans. It's a lifestyle. Um, you went to Taylor High School, I right? I did go to Taylor Alderdice in Pittsburgh, a little area called Squirrel Hill. Shout out to Alderdice, 06, when I graduated. And yeah, <laughs> yep. And, uh, but yeah, it, it, it became more like a lifestyle. Just everything that we do is just like, just tailored to who we are and, and the way that we live. It's Taylor to Taylor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. TGLD. And is there any way, like, could I get into the Taylor yeah, gang? Yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna, oh, uh, really? I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put you in Taylor gang right now. I would love to be in the Taylor yeah, gang. Yeah, just gotta wake up and smoke this right oh, now. Oh, all right, okay. <laughs> Jeez, I've never seen one of these. There you go. Whoa. TGLD. Did you roll this yourself? I did. Wow, I, don't know, I might have to frame this or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you smoked pot. Wow. <laughs> You get a lighter, and you, you'll have so much fun with a that. A lighter, you say? Yeah, yep. Which end would I use? Uh, the <laughs> red or...? Just pick one. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know if you know this, but your uh, your son was playing Little League with Guillermo's son and Clito's son. Oh, We're okay. both on the on the opposing oh, teams. Really? OK. All right. Guillermo, right, tell, tell Wiz what you told me the parents were saying. <laughs> <laughs> they say, that guy smelled terrible. <laughs> yeah, like he made me, but of weed, right? Yeah, I mean, he yeah, smelled like yeah. weed, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. That, my, my weed smells good. It does smell really good. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. So, boy, you at the Little League game, that's got to be a sight. I bet when that ice cream truck comes around, you are right there front <laughs> in the front of the line. I do hit up the concession stand a lot. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> But it's fun, man. I love being with the kids, coaching my son on. I used I coached last year, but I got a little bit busier this time. But um, it's it's really really fun to just it's hang out. One of out. the good things about yeah being at home for a long period of time, exactly. you can do stuff like exactly. that. Exactly, man. It's 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 a blast, yo. And they're so they're so young and innocent. Yeah. So you know, showing up smelling like pot, <laughs> giving them those good old memories. You know what I'm talking about? We have a photograph here. This is a picture you posted. Uh, it's you and your mom. Yeah. Uh, and we can see now there's some uh, smoke happening there. Yep, yep. Um, now, your mom, did she did she uh, introduce you to cannabis? I think everybody's parents kind of introduced me. <laughs> Not mine. <laughs> <laughs> Where I'm from, then. <laughs> I see, okay. <laughs> now, my mom is super chill. She real, I, I call her hood, but she, you know, she, she down to earth. Uh, she grew up in the 70s, you know, listening to P-Funk and all of that. So uh -huh. There was a little bit of P-Funk in the crib. 
Yeah, a little. Hey, well, you know what? <laughs> you got to put a little bit. You got to put a, um, a pacifier and some P-Funk. In fact, P stands for pacifier there it in is. the crib. <laughs> you, um, you are part of a mixed martial arts league. Are you one Absolutely. of the owners of the league? Yeah, I'm a co-owner. Um, I'm one of the artistic directors over there when it comes to the music and where we're going with the entertainment side. It's called the Professional Fighters League. Professional Fighters League. Which PFL is not a catchy sure. name for uh, a league, really. It's PFL for sure. That's, that's fun. Yeah, PFL is fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's really like, like, what is the most generic name we could come up for this? Professional Fighters League. But this is something you do. You do mis mixed martial arts yourself. I do, yourself. do uh, MMA for sure, 100%. You do this just, uh, you're not fighting people, you're training? No, nah, just training. It's not for sport for me. Well, it is for sport, but it's not for competitiveness. Um, I'm just training to, to stay in shape and to stay sharp. You do, how much do you do it? How often? How I go days? every day. Oh, every day you're I'm there. I'm there five days a week. Yeah. And so are you dangerous? Like if you were to, if there were to be a, a like if someone were to leap out over at us, you would take care of them? I would just catch them and hold them like a baby. Oh, you're crazy. <laughs> 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 you're doing some acting too. You got um, you're doing voiceover on yeah. Duncanville. Uh huh. And also you are uh, part of Dickinson. Absolutely. Which uh, did you were you like in acting in theater or anything when you were a kid? Nothing like professional. I did like talent shows and little art stuff around school. And uh, my dad had me in some acting programs. I was always into it, but I never took it that that serious, though. Did you do plays or anything Absolutely, like that? yeah. You did? What I, plays did you do? You man, remember? Man, I was in this program. It was called the Star Program. Uh, I forget what exactly what it stood for. But we wrote our own plays and things like that. So it was cool. It was oh, cool. you did? Yeah, oh. yeah. Well, fun. I guess the Star Program worked, because you're a star. It, shout out to the Star Program. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Star Program. Thank you for um, for letting me be part of the Taylor Gang. I'm excited about Yo, it. Make yeah, sure are there you... meetings that I can come to? Exactly. 100%. There's like a little Taylor Gang sign in the, in the sky when you smoke that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll report back to the yeah, captain. Yeah, yeah. Duncanville uh, airs Monday nights on Fox, and the Professional Fighters League season is underway. ESPN2 and ESPN Plus. Wiz Khalifa, everybody. Thanks, Wiz. We'll be back with Jackson Brown. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, click the subscribe button. And if you didn't like it, well, you hurt my feelings.